This is a historic event, and I want to introduce to you a woman that is going to change politics in Massachusetts forever, Dr. Jill Stein. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you all. Really appreciate your coming out here today and standing out in the uh, in the brisk cold. And I think this is a sign of the kind of dedication and commitment and engagement that we need and that we see rising up all over the Commonwealth. We see people like you who are going to take our future back. And I'm really delighted that you're here today because this is the day that we start to take control of our commonwealth, our common health, and our common future. It's time for a commonwealth that listens to the people, that works for the people, and that answers to the people. And that's why we need to bring the voices of the people into this election and up into the halls of power so that we can start to break the stranglehold of lobbyists and insiders and get Beacon Hill back to work for the families and the working people of this great commonwealth. So it's up to us to stand up and stand together for a new vision for Massachusetts, a vision of just and sustainable prosperity that we deserve. And that is what this campaign is all about. My first priority as governor to move towards this vision is to get the local economy going so that it can create secure, good wage, green jobs, jobs that can't be offshored or outsourced or downsized. And by moving to clean, renewable energy, we can create a jobs bonanza that puts the enormous number of people that are out of work together with the enormous amount of work that needs to be done. This is not only a jobs bonanza, it's also an insurance policy that protects us from rising prices at the gas pump, from Wall Street speculators, and from disruptions of climate change to our economy. Our next priority is to fix the health care crisis. And as an ordinary citizen and a physician, I know, like you, that health care really is still in crisis. Everyone deserves affordable, quality health care, not just a mandate to buy stripped-down, expensive policies that don't really protect you, not your health or your financial security when you get really sick. And we can provide affordable, quality coverage by moving to an improved Medicare for All tax relief from the unfair burden that falls much too hard on middle-income and working families. Because when you add up all the taxes and fees and the offsets, regular families are now paying at about twice the rate of the wealthiest few. This has to stop. And in addition, I will work to bring down the tax burden by rooting out waste, corruption, and special interest favors on Beacon Hill that inflate the cost of government. This is what's making taxes and fees way higher than what they need to be. So let's get rid of that corruption tax for once and for all. Yeah. all right. Unlike the other candidates that we're likely to face in the general election, it's true, I've never been a CEO and I've never been a Beacon Hill insider. I've never huddled with health insurance executives who've denied people their health care. I've never met in the back rooms with predatory lenders or casino gambling executives or real estate schemers, and I just don't owe any favors to machine bosses or big money donors who are looking to buy influence. Sorry, I'm a mother and a medical doctor and an advocate for healthy people, healthy economies, and a healthy democracy. So if you've had enough business as usual, if you've had enough of the culture of influence, if you've had enough payoffs and layoffs and ripoffs and bailouts, this is the campaign for you. This is the campaign for real change. Change not just to believe in, but change we can actually accomplish. 
So join the team to take our government back and let's start building a healthy, just, secure green future that we urgently need and that is within our reach. And let's make this the regained control of our commonwealth, our common health, and our common future. Thank you very much.